The webinar I'm going to go through now is to go through some of the business reporting capabilities you have within Dynamics GP 2013 upwards. I'll be covering the analysis cubes uh, and particularly the pivot table creator within GP itself. Uh, the Excel reports you get out of the box as part of Dynamics GP, the Smartless Designer and SQL reporting services. If you do have any questions following this webinar, please contact matt.fleming at advantage.co.uk. Okay, I'm going to dip into GP. <clears throat> okay. Microsoft Dynamics GP, obviously being part of the Microsoft stack, links directly and very, very easily with all uh, Microsoft SQL Server reporting tools. One of the things that's actually uh, very good in the system is the ability to link into analysis cubes. Where this is handy is if you do want to be able to uh, view information across multi-databases or very, very simply analyze data depending on what you actually need. It's very, very easy to do within the system. The pivot table report creator relies on the analysis cubes being deployed, which is out of the box with part uh, of GP 2013 upwards. And it's very, very simple to do. What I'm going to do is create uh, an aged debt. I've got my server information automatically locked. If you have got multiple SQL servers available, you can change where it's pointing at creation time. There is a number of predefined cubes available out of the box. And I'm going to choose receivables. And there we have all my key fields. So very, very easily, I'm going to filter on my company. And in my columns, I would like my customers. Sorry, in my rows, I would like my customers. In my columns, I would like my period dates. And my values, I'm going to have my amount outstanding. You see there's multiple fields you could potentially use, and you can add those in if you want to, salesperson, so on and so forth. If I then want to publish this as Analysis Cube directly in Excel, which users can access separate from GP, I simply click on the Excel button. And while this is gathering all the data together, there we have an automatic pivot table with my features and functions that I chose. And as with any pivot table, I have got drill down available within it. Now this is just Excel with a connection directly to the server. And can be very easily saved anywhere in your network for anyone to use. As with any pivot table, you could also then very easily pop in a chart. In addition to the analysis cubes reports, what you also have is you have a range of Excel reports available out of the box. I'm just going to open up my file locations. These are installed as default when Dynamics GP is installed. And these are created on a company-by-company -company basis and then broken down by ledger. So for argument's sake, if I wanted to have a look at my purchasing reports, one of the things that's very, very good out of the box is you get a dashboard. And this is dynamic dashboard, which has got hyperlinks automatically directly into the data which can be very, very easily refreshed. Or alternatively, if you wanted to create your own, there are a number of default ones out of the box, which you can use or you can actually tailor very, very easily. So I'm going to open up my payables transactions, and here is a list of all my transactions. 
what I can very, very easily do is I can actually change which information is displayed because this is actually using smart list views. So if you're familiar with the smart list columns, you'll see this is what it's actually bringing back. So for argument's sake, if I wanted to add in my vendor class ID, or any other field, I can simply add that on there. And from here, what I can then very, very simply do is again, pop that into a pivot table if I want to. My vendor, my document type, current transaction amount. I can put a filter on, where it only shows my invoices. And once again, I can double click and I have drilled down. And again, because this is just Excel with a link in, you can save this anywhere on your network. Very, very easy access for any user to be able to interrogate data on general ledger, purchase ledger, sales ledger, analytical accounting, fixed assets, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to dip back into GP. And what, another one of the options you have is the business analyzer. And the business analyzer is a direct link into the reporting services tools, again, which come as standard out of the box. You can set the business analyzer to automatically appear on your desktop when you log in. And you can actually choose which reports, whether they be ones that are out of the box or your own reports, which appear on your GP homepage when you log in. Alternatively, if you're a user who doesn't necessarily need to access GP, the Business Analyzer is available as a separate application, which can be very, very easily accessed and tailored to show specific reports that you desire. You can run this on a range of companies. And you can filter which reports are shown. How they're displayed very, very easily. So it's a very, very simple way of actually analyzing data within the system. As with any reporting services report, out of the box, what you also have is you have a drill down functionality. What this drill down can also do is that can open up the session within GP. So you can actually view the data and that would actually rely on the user having a GP login. Should you wish to access these reports independently, the reporting services come with a number of standard reports available out of the box. So I wanted a very, very simple way to produce a summary TB. I can do this on the web without having to go into GP. For a range of codes, a range of periods, so on and so forth. And when this report is run, What you can then very, very easily do is you can export it to Excel, Word, so on and so forth. As you see here, you have general ledger, purchase ledger, project accounting, a multitude of reports that are available out of the box. Just going back to GP to show you the last thing, and that's within SmartList itself. With the advent of GP 2013, the ability to create your own smart lists was available. So at the top here, you see you have a new button. And let's say for argument's sake, I wanted to be able to create a simple report from my vendors to list out my bank details. So I would start with my vendors. I'm going to click new. And what I like to do is just create a new one called banking. So I'd link my vendors into my account code information table where you can pick and choose whichever fields you want. Once you've created this link, it then becomes automatically available within GP 
which you can then very, very easily run. In addition to this, what you can also do is if you wanted to create a detail of a payment run with the associated PAX details that's going to be paid, you can do very, very easily. And that's a very, very quick overview of some of the standard reporting tools available within Dynamics GP. If you have any further questions, please contact matt.fleming at advantage.co.uk. Thank you for your time.